My name is Shivendra Singh Dungarpur. I head the Film Heritage Foundation. And today, we have with us the entire cast of Khamosh with us. Nasir sir, Soni ji, Aftar sir, Deepak Kadri ji, Virendra Singh ji, Pavan Malhotra ji, and of course, the cinematographer, Vinod Pradhan. We are also honored to have with us one of the most legendary actors of his time, Kamal Hassan. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. While we are celebrating Khamosh, we cannot forget some of the iconic legends who were part of this film. Uh, we are very glad that we have the archive of Manraj Bhatia, so he's not with us. Mangesh Desai, who the film was dedicated to. How can we forget, not forget, I mean, Renu Saluja. What a, what a legend. I mean, we, I had the opportunity to work with her and she's contributed so much to the new wave. And lastly, my guru and I think the guru of Vinod, P.K. Nair. So let's have Vinod come up on the stage and tell us the journey from P.K. Nair to Khamosh. Let's have that ovation for him. 45 years! Can you believe 45 years, Vinod? 45 years! <laughs> Vinod, first of all, let me ask you, how do you feel today? I feel crazy. I don't feel it's 45. I mean, I you say 45, everybody says 45, and to me, it doesn't. Tell us about the journey from, from the Institute to Kamosh and... Yeah, Sadai Moth, actually, we, had, we made that film in 3 lakhs. And Nasiruddin Shah, who's here, will remember that we had no trolley, no light, nothing. We had three lakhs to make the film. In Khamosh, for instance, that you're going to see, you will see in credits, Nasiruddin Shah, Kamosh, they were uh, also for stills, I think. They were also taking stills. Pavanji was doing Pavan Malhotra and Deepak Kadir were my production guys because we couldn't afford production guys. So the actors were production, actors were costume. Shuklaji. <laughs> He was playing the dialogue writer and also he was doing the artwork. So we made movies like you can't even believe how we made it. I was talking to Kamal Hassanji who was here and of course he's made films even before I made films. But it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. The good thing I want to say and I won't talk too much. 45 years later, both critical baad mein nikal raat ko boli. Main ghar gaya raat ko do baje. And I, when I left the office, there were, I counted 16 kids working like crazy on 12th grade. And I was, I felt so blessed because it reminded me actually of how we did Sadai Mouth, how we did Khamosh. So the bottom line is that the world has changed around me, of course, us rather. The crazy thing is somehow in this completely changing world, we have retained sanity and we are still doing the way we made films then. I, I just feel that I feel very blessed. And, and I think the way to fight time is not to change with time. I have to show some, but I, this is the last thing. This Nasiruddin Shah will remember Shabana. He got for me, I think 40 years back from America. When Nasir went to America for the first time in his life, he got this from a dollar store for me. It says, I refuse to grow up. And this has helped me Nasir so much for 71 years that I'm, um, you gave it to me when I was maybe 25. Yeah, so 50 years or 55 years, this has helped me. Thank you okay. for giving me this. But uh, Vinod, I am don't... not going to grow up. Yeah. So let, let's get the cast. Vinodji, come up on the stage. Chaturanji, please come. Sorry, please, please, everybody come up and let's, let's do a this. I really feel that it was just yesterday that we made this film. And let me tell you a secret. My director, Vinod Chopra, was going to travel. Listen to this, it's very yeah, important. Yeah, yeah. By third class train. And he just had an operation. So I paid the ticket for him oh. to tra <laughs> travel. And after that, all these boys were so wicked. He had to sit on a tire. And they used to keep throwing the tire and it had become a joke instead of taken seriously. My father and mother were there. One of those rare occasions when they'd come for the shooting. And Abba said, Jani se pehle kon bachega, Nasir ya Vinod? <laughs> Bas, that puts it. Me and Vinod Chopra went to Shabana's place because there were some dates to be changed. And uh, before Vinod, of course I was not inside, they went inside and Vinod uh, could ask her for the change. Shabana said, Vinod, my Madras ki ek film is South Key. So, I have to change dates. So, Vinod said, Which dates are you? Oh, I have to change my dates. 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 I have to change my dates
विनोद सर मुझे मिलती रहती थी वो सरदार नरेंद्र सिंह जी जिन्होंने हमें पहलगाम होटल में ठहराया और वो हमारे इतने अच्छे होस्ट थे इतनी लो बजट फिल्म के सिक्स कोर्स मील फॉर वी स्ट्रगलर इट वॉज अमेजिंग Okay so the first time I met Vinod I think it was in an auto and you narrated me this my role in an auto and in those days there wasn't much traffic in Bombay so we could hear our, each other otherwise we would, today it would be impossible and the second time I met Vinod was in the middle of the night somewhere and was at some friend's place and we were walking down some Pali Hill road in the middle of the night and you were talking to me about the whole film and I was so taken up by his passion I said whatever it is is it a role which is big small whatever I just want to work with you so main to isse puchta raha maine kaha yaar film kya bana rahe ho mere ko to samajh hi nahi aayi aur till jab tak premiere hua maine premiere mein pucha kya film banayi hai tune mujhe samajh hi nahi aayi ha so vidu vinod mere khayal se apni class mein akela aisa banda tha jiske daadhi nahi thi aur hum dono ne ek saath mein 1973 mein film institute mein dakhla hua मेरा एक्टिंग कोर्स में इनका डायरेक्शन कोर्स में और हम दोनों उस जगह के आदि भी एक साथ बने और रैगिंग भी एक साथ हुई इसलिए कि ये डायरेक्शन कोर्स में था और लगता एक्टर था <laughs> और मैं एक्टिंग कोर्स में था और लगता था कि इसका तो इसके लिए ये कहाँ से आ गया <laughs> तो दाढ़ी नहीं थी तो इसलिए वो दाढ़ी खुजा के उसमें से आइडियाज नहीं निकाल सकते थे जैसे कि हमारे डायरेक्टर्स निकालते हैं और ना फिर वो बहुत ही वाइज और प्रोफाउंड और दुनिया का बोझ अपने कंधों में लिए हुए टाइप का एटीट्यूड पकड़ सकते थे लेकिन एक चीज जरूर करते थे विनोद जो एक एक्सरसाइज जो बहुत ही मुश्किल है मैं जब हॉस्टल से जो लोग फिल्म इंस्टीट्यूट से वाकिफ हैं वो समझ पाएंगे एक स्लोप सा है हॉस्टल से एक्टिंग क्लास जाने का तो उसके कगार पे खड़े होते थे विनोद और एक बहुत ही मुश्किल एक्सरसाइज कर रहे हो और कभी कभी और जब बहुत ही क्रिएटिव होते थे तो and i have to say that all these sari exercises vinod ke kaam aayi hai kyunki it was very clear from that time itself what kind of films he wanted to make i think he deserves all our congratulations for having continued to do that and uh, aur agar meri koi dua hai vinod ke liye to that is exactly the the, the medal he showed you i hope he never grows up mere ko naseer bolta tha hamesha directors dance मतलब डायरेक्टर्स डांस मतलब मैं शो ऑफ कर रहा हूँ एज ए डायरेक्टर तो ये मुझे हमेशा कहता तू डायरेक्टर नहीं है यू डूइंग डायरेक्टर्स डांस द ग्रेटेस्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट आई गॉट इन माय लाइफ आफ्टर ही सॉ ट्वेल्थ फेल माय लास्ट फिल्म ही कॉल्ड मी विद इन मी एंड ऑल ही सेट टू मी Finally, you have learned direction. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it took me time, but I got there. <laughs> so, so is that true? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely true. Is, you know, well, the thing about Vinod was for the first two films that I met, uh, met him for. I saw him only fighting with the actors, so I <laughs> so I had a tough time trying to be in the middle of uh, these two actors over here, actor and the director fighting, and I was in the middle, a small guy, <laughs> and it was very it was a very scary experience in a way, and also used to be a used to be a slog taskmaster. Yeah. For for a forty day schedule, we used to work for I don't know how many months and months and months. We used to just he used to call me and say, "Arey, this little thing is what is it? What should I do? Oh, let's do this. Oh, let's do that." So there used to be a huge amount of homework that we had to do. the two people who have been part of the vinod chopra family in many ways in his films uh, rajkumar hirani and abhijit joshi yeah uh, raju uh, you you have wonderful stories and how do you look at this journey of 45 years now you've been part of it as everybody said vinod said nasir said and punna uh, bhai mvp said did learn hell of a lot perseverance how you actually keep slogging you keep slogging keep slogging and before you hit the sets actually try and get it right on the paper so uh, that's one thing i learned big time from vinod and he was there and that's something which you learn then the gets ingrained in your system and that's what you follow forever so he made us believe that do make the film which you want to make and not what others want to make almost everything that i learned about whatever little but every almost everything of that that i learned about cinema was from him and more than that 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 tremendous zest and passion for both for life and cinema i have to now invite one and only kamal ji the legend yeah and an no, honor no. i came from the malayalam film industry so when you say you make movies for 3 lakhs my eyebrows don't go up because we used to make it for 1 lakh <laughs> so i wanted to get out of that scene of hand to mouth living so here was this guy reed tin 
and pale or what you call pale face you know the kashmiri pale face <laughs> and he was standing there probably was uh, much older than he looked but he looked like a teenager and uh, i wasn't far better but i felt a little superior and i had a hit <laughs> under my belt and he came and he said it's not a budget but it's an idea and slowly i got scared of him because he reminded me of de niro or taxi driver i made a mistake because i i didn't ask him how do you know filmmaking then he would have told about pune film institute i'm a great fan of that institute and i regret not having gone there so what you guys did in 5 years it took me 25 30 years to learn but you learned it much more than what we learned come on you've gone miles ahead i have to. how do you look at his films no no how do you look at kamosh no i liked all his films and it is not that he stopped with fazaima he came another time and uh, it was one summer in avm studio and this guy looks thin and all that but he eats like me <laughs> so we had lunch he came to narrate a story now you go <laughs> you you tell <laughs> i ate that lunch was so good i went to sleep <laughs> <laughs> and i i had kept that time aside so i didn't i had about 2 hours i thought he'll narrate me that story he slept there i watched him sleep <laughs> and i missed the second opportunity <laughs> but but i want you to wait sir i want to get vikram messi uh kab kab vikram mr nasiruddin shah he was the first actor to work with vinod now you are the present actor to work tell us about how is it to work with vinod it still feels very surreal to be honest and uh, as nasir sir also said uh, he's someone who is so rigorous with his prep i i think i've never seen or even heard of someone do as much prep as he does so we shot for over a period of 2 months but we prepped for almost a year and a half what can i say you know i'm i'm, I'm on stage with the man himself and everyone else kamal sir i think i'm just a little overwhelmed right now uh 12th fail is a very very special film it will always be and uh, Yeah thank you thank you thank you for giving yeah. me Manoj wish you all the best and so last question before we we wind up and we see Kamosh what is your take on seeing classic cinema back on theaters i think the beauty of what he spoke today is don't change and your films won't change it won't age yeah absolutely see so i i went to uh, see Mughal Azam with a few people and they didn't understand why the movie was so great but the youngest of the lot understood it was their kind of movie those who had missed it and they are in the middle ages did not understand it but the teenagers and younger group understood it it spoke their language because the language of cinema doesn't age that easily the technicians the technique it will vary but the content comes when all of them it is one cannot arrogate then else to think that i made the cinema it's a very democratic art absolutely you know like i honestly feel about uh, 12 fail and i'm sure uh, nasir and all will be very surprised to hear this that i f- i don't really feel i directed the film you know kamal i almost feel that i was the flute through which the music of universe played so i was just the means so many things happened like this kid went and started making the road and his skin burned now i didn't plan that his skin will burn it burned so there is no makeup it's it's burned when i started the movie uh, you know there are there is a particular scene in the end of the film that the mother actually kisses the phone i was i have tears in eyes when i so i never directed that she did it without my direction so this is one film and that i of all the films i have made that i feel was i almost feel humbled i almost feel uh, i didn't quite direct it i just it was just the universe that spoke through me yeah. which is which is a very different experience yeah. for me thank you very much sir thank you vinod thank you vikrant uh thank you to the entire cast of kamosh let's all watch the film almost 40 years we are watching it back on screen kamosh thank you thank, thank you thank you thank you, thank you.